So here's one of our favorites that we love to sing. Maybe you'll recognize it. Let's go. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no. But oh boy, hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. What you say? Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no. But oh boy, hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back. No more. Treat me so mean. You're the meanest old woman that I ever seen. Well, I guess if you say so, say so. I have to pack my things and go. That's right. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. What you say? Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more. Jack, and don't you come back no more. Oh, baby, oh, baby, don't you treat me this way. Cause I'll be back on my feet someday. I don't care if you do, cause you understood. You ain't got no money, you just ain't no good. Well, I guess if you say so, I say so. I have to pack my things and go. That's right. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. No more. Hey everyone, it is six o'clock, so we are going live from our Great Marriages office here in downtown Sheboygan. My name is Jocelyn Medrick, Executive Director here at Great Marriages, and we are so excited that you are joining us this evening for our first ever virtual annual fundraiser. So as you see on the screen, don't open those envelopes just yet. We will do that a little bit later in the program, but we're so excited to be with you here tonight. We're going to spend about 30 to 45 minutes with you, updating you on what's been happening here at Great Marriages and just celebrating marriage together. I'm here with the talented Winter Kohler Wilhelm, and she is helping me run this event behind the scenes tonight. So thank you, Winter. Uh, before we get rolling, we would like all of you to open up your chat box. So if you don't know how to do this, if you hover towards the bottom of your screen, uh, you're going to see a chat option. Just click on that and a box should pop open. If it comes in the middle of your screen, you can drag it over to the side. And Winter is actually going to type something in the chat right now. So it should pop up at you if you can't find it. Just click on that, open it up. And then we want you to put your cursor towards the bottom of that box and just type in where are you watching from tonight. So we would love to know where you are joining us from this evening. Remember, don't open your envelope yet. And we are celebrating our 15th year in December. So we're gonna pop up a poll here and we've been serving our community for 15 years and we wanna know how long you have been together. So if you're at one of those watch parties where there's more than one person there, just shout out how many years you've been married and have the person enter the largest number. And then we're going to put the results up for you. Awesome. We have so many people who have been married a range 
um, and the top category of that 51 to 60 years. So congratulations to all of you uh, for having been married for such a long time. Next, we want to go through our mission and our vision. So if this is the first time that you've ever been to a Great Marriages event, we want to let you know what it is that we do here. So our mission actually has three parts. The first part is to prepare and strengthen relationships. So we work with singles, dating, engaged, and married couples. Lots of times people will say, Great Marriages, I'm not married, I can't go there. You can, so we do work um, and have resources for singles, dating, and engaged couples, as well as married couples. The second part is enrich marriages, and this is really the meat and bones of what we do. So our first way we enrich marriages is our couple-to-couple -couple mentoring program. This is where couples take an online assessment, and then we pair them up with one of our mentor couples who works with them from anywhere eight to 10 weeks on average. Second part is our monthly educational events. So when we can meet in person, we have a catered dinner and then a topic that we cover. Right now, those are all online. So you can actually go to the resources tab on our website and you can watch any of those recorded events that we've been doing the last few months. The next way is through our resource library. So we have hundreds of books, DVDs, everything here for you to check out on many relationship topics. Right now, our library is only open by appointment only. Uh, so if you want to get a resource, just give us a call and we will make an appointment with you. And the last way we enrich marriages is through our website and our social media. So Winter does an awesome job every single day, posting encouraging messages, links to articles, all kinds of resources. So if you're not um, engaged with us through social media, I really encourage you to do that. And the last part of our mission is to keep families together. So this is our ultimate goal. Can you just imagine with me for a second if every family had a mom and a dad whose children saw a healthy example of how to communicate, how to resolve conflict in a healthy way, and they learned those skills and then they passed them to their children and their children and generations are going to be affected by what we're doing today. So we're working on keeping families together one couple at a time we're so thankful that you joined us tonight in that mission. The vision of our board is a community of vibrant, strong, joyful, lifelong marriages. So we want you not just surviving together, we want you thriving as a couple. So let's have some fun tonight and do just that. So we've got two goals for this evening. Number one is to celebrate marriages. So like I just said, we want you connected. We want you celebrating and having some fun together. And the second goal would be to raise funds. So this is our annual fundraiser and our overall goal is $100,000. So the good news is that we already had $51,000 raised before you even logged on tonight. Uh, that is through our sponsors, through all of you who bought individual tickets and through the virtual fundraising that we did back in April. So tonight's goal is actually $49,000. And how are we gonna do that? So we've got a silent auction going on. We're gonna do the reverse auction a little bit later in the program, but for the silent auction, Winter's gonna pop up a link in your chat. So whenever you want, you can go over, check on your bids, or if you haven't even been to the auction site yet, uh, you can go check out what we have to offer there. And there's one item that we want to highlight. Um, this is a private plane ride to Door County. So we're going to start at Sheboygan County Airport and drop you off in Ephraim, Door County. This includes a $500 Visa gift card that you can use for accommodations or food, whatever you want. And you need to go to page two of the auction items. So there are two pages of items on the auction. Um, with this plane ride, we'll drop you off and pick you up, it's a round trip. So you go on a Friday, come home on a Sunday, stay for a week, it doesn't matter to us, uh, it's a round trip. So we just wanna get the bidding started on the private plane ride. I wanna thank all of our sponsors. All of these sponsors on the screen right here, um, our platinum sponsors, they have been on our list, I think for as long as I've been at Great Marriages, five and a half years. It just shows you the commitment they have to our community and keeping families together. Um, in this community. Then here's another list of sponsors. 
uh, these sponsors, a lot of them are new. And I'd encourage you on both of these pages, look at these people, look who's supporting us in our community, and then let's in turn go back and support their businesses as well. I wanna thank our board members. Here's a list of our current board members. Our board members gather together. We work on keeping this organization running strong. So thank you to our board members. A huge, huge thank you to our mentor couples. Our mentor couples are the core of this organization. They are down in the trenches with people fighting for their marriages every single day. Um, they also get the pleasure of working with premarital couples. Um, but a lot of the work they do is with couples who are in crisis. So thank you so much to our mentor couples for the hundreds of hours uh, that you put in every single year to help those in our community. Our ABCD committee is advisory board for curriculum development. And what the committee does is we vet speakers, we work on our annual survey, and then of course do programming for the following year. Last but not least, we have our marketing committee. I'm hoping that all of you have seen our wonderful billboards. Um, that is one of the main things that the marketing committee works on. And one last big, big thank you to Kevin and Carleen Witter for being our banquet chairs this evening. Um, they helped me with sponsor letters, they helped get sponsors, they are sponsors, um, and auction items. So thank you so much to Kevin and Carleen for everything that you do. And they have agreed to stay our banquet chairs for our in-person uh, next annual fundraiser on May 18th. So thank you, thank you so much to Kevin and Carleen. We are going to be drawing for an iPad tonight. Uh, if you're not familiar with our $15 a month pain, uh, we've been running that most of the year and we're celebrating 15 years, like I mentioned, in December. So we are asking that you would be willing to give $15 a month or more as a recurring donation. So Winter just put up a link in the chat to that donate page. If you want to be included, in the drawing for the iPad tonight at the end of the program, go ahead over to that page and make a recurring donation of $15 or more to help keep families together and you will be added to that drawing. We're gonna do one more poll. This is how have you engaged with Great Barrages? So tonight you're all at the annual fundraiser so you can check that one off. Uh, if you've been to a monthly event, if you've watched an online event or checked out a library art art article, um, engage with our social media, just check every single one that applies for this poll. That's awesome. We love seeing people engage with us on many of our different, thank you so much. COVID-19 update. So what did we do when COVID hit? So for all, we closed our office to the public and our mentor couples were amazing. They just didn't miss a beat. They went right online and did online meetings with their couples. And then we moved our monthly educational events online. So that is in due part to Word of Grace Church in Falls. So thank you to our Word of Grace people watching tonight. We cannot say thank you enough for helping us professionally videotape those events and for Pastor Derek for speaking. Also to Pastor Andy Shanholtz, who did the same thing, videotaped uh, some of those monthly events for us. So thank you so much. We had a smooth transition. Um, we're, we're back in the office for some of the mentoring if the com couples are comfortable doing that, but the office is still closed to the public right now. Um, and you can just make an appointment if you need to talk to us. Next up, we are going to share a testimony with you. So Zach and Candace are a couple who came through that couple to couple mentoring program. I'm not gonna tell you too much about their story because I want you to hear it directly from them, uh, but they're a blended family and here is their story. Let's go to Zach and Candace. reached out to great marriages because things, um, we kind of hit a stale patch. We were arguing a lot uh, and things were getting pretty heated. 
So I thought we should do something. It was familiar territory for the both of us. We both have been um, married previously. And I knew he wanted it to work and I really wanted it to work. Yeah. So I started looking for um, different steps that we could take to try and strengthen our marriage. We weren't liking where our relationship was going. Um, we knew we had been down that road before and, and what the outcome was. So we wanted, we wanted to you know, nip it in the butt right there and, and make a change. Uh, while we were in the mentoring program, I learned a lot. I thought I knew a lot, and I thought I was open-minded, and you know, um, there was there was a lot I didn't realize um, about his perception of things, um, and that's where I learned that our biggest issue was communication. Um, I'd say something, he'd understand it completely different than what I meant it to be. Chris and Sue were were wonderful in teaching us through their life ex, um, experiences and um, a lot of them were similar to the things we were going through so it made us I think feel okay we're not the only ones that you know have these issues with a blended family. Chris and Sue made it very um, enlightening but at the same time you know easy to learn the steps and everything. I would definitely recommend it. I was doubtful at first when she first brought up the idea of mentoring. Um, I think I thought, you know, that's what doctors get paid for. Why was I wrong? <laughs> um, Chris and Sue did a wonderful job with, with bringing in their life experiences. And I think I, I was humbled by it as far as, you know, guys are typically the strong ones and, you know, no faults. and. They don't need anybody else's help. They can figure things out. That's how I used to be. And this program definitely helped me to realize that um, it is okay to seek out help, um, especially with, you know, with our marriage. It's, it's made things a lot easier, but just more enlightening on, on how to live every day um, with open communication. And, and, it, and see, having our kids look at, you know, see us you know, not arguing as much, you know, because that's, no kid wants to see that, so. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Thank you so much to Zach and Candace for sharing their story. You know, it's not easy for couples, first of all, like Zach mentioned, to admit that they need help, um, but they realized that their children needed that and their marriage is so much more healthy today because of going through the Couple to Couple Mentoring Program. So if you're sitting there and you're thinking, hmm, maybe we should go through that mentoring program, here's an email and a phone number on the screen. Uh, give us a call. You do have to call to register for mentoring, but if you just want more information, we'd be happy to email that to you on Monday. So just let us know. And then if you're sitting there and thinking, I could be like Chris and Sue that they mentioned, and we could mentor. Uh, the first requirement is to be married 15 plus years. So if you meet that requirement and it's kind of on your heart that you want to help people through this mentoring program, please let me know. We are actually holding our next mentor training on Saturday, October 24th. So if you're available that Saturday and you're interested in the program, please give me a call next week. We would love to have you join our mentor team. Okay, so we have a special announcement for you. This is regarding our 2021 annual fundraiser. So I'm going to have Winter go over to our special announcement. Hello, Sheboygan, and greetings from Green Bay, Wisconsin. Hello. Mark Unger here with my lovely wife, Deanna, in our home. And uh, excited to be coming back down to Sheboygan, May 18th. We're going to be speaking. I don't know, something about relationships, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I barely know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, much less in May, but it'll all get planned out. Jocelyn was talking about perhaps doing a question and answer session. 
Yes. So people could ask us That'll questions. Be fun. That'd be a lot of fun. fun. So uh, anyway, just keep in mind, we're coming back down. It's going to be exciting. Maybe they should get a piano. And I can sing and play. <laughs> Ooh, that would be fun. I can sing and play. We can dance the whole thing. It'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> anyway, see y'all May 18th. Don't forget, it's going to be a lot of fun. Bye-bye. Bye. Yay, aren't you excited? So now is the time to take your envelope, if you have not opened it yet, and open it with me. Uh, the reason we made you wait is because they are our special announcement. So Mark and Deanna are coming together and we're gonna plan something fun. Maybe we will have Mark play the piano and sing and then we wanna do kind of a ask the gungers where you can ask them any kind of questions that you want. So go ahead and open your envelope. This announcement will be in there so you can put that on your fridge or mark your calendar for the May 18th event. That is going to be at the Ostos. Also in your envelope would be two DVDs that Laugh Your Way, Mark's organization in Green Bay has donated. Special gift for you. Then you have this green envelope in there. We are gonna be using this for the reverse auction in just a moment, so keep that handy. Also, you have the list of all of our sponsors. So again, please support these organizations as they support organizations like Great Marriages. You've got a certificate for a free monthly event. So I talked about those monthly events earlier. When we start meeting in person again in 2021, well, you can give this to someone as a gift or you can use it yourself. That would be good for two people monthly events. And then you have our program. So this was made for our April event. You'll see a few stickers, um, but you want to look through this. You could learn about Kevin and Carlene, our chairs. Um, if you watched the pre-show and you saw As Husband and Wife, our entertainment, there's a bio on them in here as well. So make sure you look through that program. Okay, so let's talk about the reverse auction. We're going to go through the needs that we have here at Great Marriages, just some examples. And this is everybody's chance to participate tonight. So if we were in person, we would be raising our paddles um, and giving our tax deductible donations. So tonight we're gonna do this um, in a couple different ways that we'll explain after we go through the different levels. So at the $5,000 level, here's a couple of our needs. You can help provide couple to couple mentoring that we've been talking about this evening for five couples for 10 weeks. You could also help six couples overcome challenges in their marriage by attending our marriage retreat in 2021 at no cost to them. So you can remove all barriers if you become a sponsor of our marriage retreat. At the $2,500 level, you can keep a family together by providing updated curriculum um, and training for our mentor couples and our staff. You can provide that couple to couple mentoring program for two and a half couples and one year of radio ads on 91.3 the message the Christian radio station costs $2,500. At the thousand dollar level you can provide couple to couple mentoring for one couple for 10 weeks or you can sponsor one of those monthly educational events so whether we professionally videotape them in 2021 or we have them in person, $1,000 will help us with one of those events. At the $500 level, you can help us certify someone new in our singles curriculum. It's called Love Thinks, How Not to Fall in Love with a Jerk slash Jerkette. So we are needing to train someone to be certified in that curriculum. We could purchase 16 Beatitudes book, that's by Mark Gunger. We would love to be able to give those to our premarital couples as they go through the mentoring program. $500 would also help us purchase two Love and Respect DVD sets with workbooks for our resource library. If you've never gone through Love and Respect or read the book, I would highly recommend that you do that. At the $250 level, we could purchase 10 hardcover books for our resource library on different topics. And then Mark also has an updated Laugh Your Way DVD set with a flag page bundle. If you're not sure what a flag page is, I would go over to flagpage.com in your free time and check that out. At the $100 level, you could help us purchase one Love and Respect DVD series, and you could provide two scholarships. So when I mentioned that mentoring program, the first thing people do is take an online assessment. You could provide 
two scholarships. So two couples could take that online assessment on scholarship with your help. Or we can purchase mentor training binders and cover the cost of materials for that training coming up on October 24th. The last level is $50. You could help us purchase five love and respect workbooks, or you could provide one scholarship for that online assessment and help us cover the cost of just materials for that mentor training. So those are all the levels. These are just some examples of some of the expenses we have here at Great Marriages. Now, how are you gonna do this? So we're not raising our paddles tonight, but we're gonna put a link back in the chat for that auction site. If you go to page two, where the airplane ride was, all the fund and needs are on page two of the auction site, or inside your lime green envelope is a donation form. You can fill that out and mail us a check. Okay, we would just like to ask you a huge favor. Please, please consider covering the credit card fees if you check out online. So if you check out tomorrow night after the auction or tonight just for the fund and need, we, there's a little circle and it'll tell you the amount of fees. We would just ask that you would consider covering those fees for us. If you get to that part of checkout and you're thinking, ooh, that's a lot of fees, I want great marriages to get 100% of my donation, then just simply take out that donation form and fill it out and mail it back to us in this. You don't have to check out online. So we're gonna give you a few minutes to go over to the auction site or to fill out your donation form. And while you're doing that, we are going to have our entertainment as husband and wife share an original song. So if you were with us for the pre-show, they did a cover song. Now we are gonna get the privilege of hearing a song that they actually wrote and performed together. So while you're out there doing that, listen to as husband and wife sing words to say. Hey there, we are As Husband and Wife. And we wanted to share a little bit about Words to Say, our first single and first music video that we released together. Mm -hmm. So Gina wrote most of the song. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I did. what is it about? Now we have been trying to figure out the most profound thing to say about this song, but guess yeah. what? It's about not having the words to say right. and trying to figure that out. That's basically and it. Relationships <laughs> and coming up short and yep. all of those things. Yep. Um, very, very real stuff, and yep. still stuff we're working through today. So, <laughs> oh, I we're good. Well, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope you enjoy. We hope this song resonates with you. Sometimes I wonder Are we headed in the right direction? Are we headed straight down? And am I doing My eyes 
to Gino and Andrea for sharing their God-given talents with us. And as a reminder, they will be with us on May 18th as our entertainment during the cocktail hour at the Osthof. So we'll get to hear them do a bunch more cover songs and hopefully some more of those original songs as well. Next up, we get to hear from our board chair, Michael Vasili. Michael's been on the board since 2013, was voted board chair last December in 2019. You can see Michael here on the screen with his beautiful wife, Tina. They have been married 16 years and they have three children. So let's go over to a message from Michael. Hello, my name is Michael Vasili, and I have the privilege of serving as chairman of the board for Great Marriages of Sheboygan County. On behalf of the board, I'd like to thank you all for all the support that you provide as we strive to equip couples by strengthening and preparing relationships, enriching marriages, and keeping families together. From the staff who on a day-to-day -day basis administer our programs and are the face of our organization, thank you. For all the mentee cup, mentor couples who provide great investment of their time and energy pouring into couples to strengthen their relationships, I thank you. And to all the donors for your faithful investment of energy, resources, and your treasures, all with the single purpose of making sure that we are strengthening families and marriages, as that is the backbone of a healthy and vibrant society. I thank you all. To everyone who supports great marriages, thank you and God bless you and your family. Thank you so much to you, Michael, for all the hard work that you do for great marriages. Just know that everything you do is very much appreciated by us over here at Great Marriages. In just a moment, you are going to hear from our entire board of directors as we close out the program tonight. But right now, <clears throat> doo -doo -doo -doo, we are going to draw for this iPad. Again, thank you to John and Krista for donating the iPad. If you put your name in tonight to be a monthly donor, we've added that to our fishbowl and I'm gonna have Winter draw for the winner right now. And it is, Mr. Lynn Rowe. He's a new monthly donor within the past couple months. So we will be in contact with Lynn to get the iPad 
to him. Congratulations to Lynn. And thank you so much to all of our faithful monthly donors, whether it's $5 a month or $500 a month, every single penny counts. So thank you to those monthly donors. And if you didn't put in to be a monthly donor tonight for the iPad drawing, you can always go out to that donate page and do that at any time. Just a couple reminders before we have our message from the board. The silent auction is going to close tomorrow night at 8 p.m. So there's still time tomorrow to get in those last minute bids. Um, some of you are competing against each other and that's really fun to see. So tomorrow night at eight o'clock, the auction will close. Uh, don't forget to, if you filled out the donation form to mail in your lime green envelope. If you can mail those in as soon as possible, we'd like to be able to report back to you how close we got to that $49,000 goal. Um, and then lastly, we are gonna leave the chat open for about 15 minutes after we finish tonight. So if you go to check out or you have questions about the auction or you're having trouble bidding, we are gonna help you uh, after we close tonight. And a lot of you have been responding in the chat and some of those are coming just to us. So we just want you to know that we are seeing your responses and thank you so much for engaging with us in the chat tonight. It's really fun to see those conversations. So the last video we have for you tonight um, as we close out the event is from all of our board of directors. They want to tell you how much they appreciate you and you are our heroes, our donors. You make this possible for us to continue our mission in our community. So let's go over to our board of directors. We at Great Marriages want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your support. We cannot do what we do without you. Thank you. board of directors said we thank you we thank you for being generous tonight and we thank you for helping us to fulfill our mission to prepare and strengthen relationships enrich marriages and keep families together thank you from the bottom of our hearts we hope to see you in person on may 18th 2021 enjoy the rest of your weekend and thank you so much for joining us this evening bye-bye